If you work in an ICU or ER setting, it's very likely you're gonna have to make your own levofed drip, also known as norepinephrine. That's why in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a levofed drip for your hemodynamically unstable patient. Roll the intro. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. I am a bedside RN, a working family nurse practitioner, and a mama of two. I've created this channel to help nurses through their nursing journey, through educational content, strategies, and practical tips. If that sounds like something you're into, consider subscribing. Let's get into it. So a levofed drip is commonly used in an ICU setting by a trained registered nurse. This is used to help maintain a stable blood pressure as the order will specify specifics. When you receive the order, it will say norepinephrine, eight milligrams and normal saline, 0.9% in a 250 mil bag. This medication is weight based, so make sure you have an accurate weight of the patient. So for in this scenario, we'll say the patient is 72.1 kilos. You wanna initiate at 0.1 to one microgram per kilogram per minute times 72.1 kilos, and you wanna titrate by 0.05 to 0.1 micrograms per kilogram per minute, and titrate every five minutes to maintain a MAP greater than 60 or per MD order. Always note the MAP or blood pressure is variable based on provider preference for patient condition. Per the usual, always refer to your hospital policy guidelines. Before I dive into the live demo, LevoFed should always be administered through a smart pump in an ICU setting with a patient on a continuous monitor with vitals every 15 minutes if they don't have an A-line. So before you prepare your drip, wash your hands and verify your six rights. Right patient, right medication, right dose, right time, right route, and right documentation. So when you're about to make a drip, you wanna gather all your supplies that you need, which will consist of your smart pump, you're gonna grab your tubing, your 10 cc syringe, your needle, you're also going to grab your normal saline, it will be a 250 mil bag, make sure it's in a packaged bag, I took it out of the bag, you never wanna just grab a normal saline because you never know if it's been tampered, and then you're also going to grab your medication that you will put it, be putting into the bag of normal saline, so this is Levofed, it is four milligrams per four mils, for one vial, so you're gonna grab two of them because you're gonna be putting two of those inside the bag, which I will show you in just a bit. And then um, you also wanna grab the medication added. You also wanna make sure you have your label that this is what we're gonna fill out that you're gonna put on the bag. And then you're also going to have your change tab and then your gloves and your alcohol prep. All right, let's get started. So I've already washed my hands. I have my gloves on. I'm gonna open up my 10 cc syringe. I'm gonna attach my needle. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my vials and I'm gonna verify that it's the right one. So this is Levofed norepinephrine and it's four milligrams per four mils. So I'm gonna open up number one vial and the second one as well. And then I will open up the alcohol prep. Put an alcohol prep on each one. Okay, I'm gonna take off the first alcohol prep and I'm going to inject in. I'm gonna put the air in and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm gonna withdraw. Okay, so we got one vial and then I'm gonna inject. I'm gonna inject the second vial I'm gonna bring the bevel down. I'm gonna withdraw. Take that out. Make sure there's no bubbles. I'm gonna recap it. And then I'm gonna change my needle out and put a different needle on. And then I'm going to clean the bag of normal saline. So I'm going to inject the medication. There's two ports. This port is where we're going to prime it with the IV. This port is where we're going to inject the medication. So I'm gonna clean the hub. Make sure it's nice and clean. Once that's clean, then I'm going to put the needle in. I'm gonna puncture it. 
And then this is when I'm going to inject the medication into the normal saline. Okay, once it's all in, and then I'm going to remove the needle. And then I'm gonna prepare my medication label. I'm gonna make sure I put the right patient's name. I'm gonna put the drug, which is Levofen. The amount is eight milligrams per eight mils in, um, with 250 mils of NS. I'm gonna put the date and I'm gonna time it. And I'm also gonna put, attach a patient label as well um, per hospital guidelines. So once I have the label done, I'm gonna put it on top of my medication and then it is ready to go. And if you have to double verify your medication with a second RN, you would then double verify and then you can prime it and hang it up for the patient. Something you want to keep in mind, your levofed drip should always be administered through a central line. You want to avoid having it infused through a peripheral IV because it can cause ischemic necrosis and should not exceed 72 hours. In an emergency setting, it may temporarily infuse while a central line is being accessed temporarily with MD approval. If you find value in this content, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and comment below with an emoji and be sure to check out one of my other nursing videos for more content and I'll see you my friend on the next one. Take care.